Hey, what up guys, Pixelated here, and on today's video, we're going to be talking about on how to farm Korra. So I made a video talking about on how to get Korra, but this video is going to be more specific on how to farm and get Korra on a single video. So farming Korra is is pretty stupid, but it, I, I'll get to it, okay? I'll get to it. Wow, what an amazing way to start off this video. So first thing you need to do to get Korra is you have to go to a relay. So in my opinion, I want to start a relay on Earth, but you can choose any relay. So after you drop into the relay, don't do in, like don't move on, don't go to places, just pull up your menu, then select fast travel, and you can fast travel to Cep Cephalon Samaris. So after you go to Cephalon Samaris, uh, one quick thing is that you have to finish the new strange quest before you get to any of this. So after you get to Cephalon Samaris, you choose Century Onslaught, which is the new game mode. And then he gives you a bunch of options, which is Century Onslaught, Elite Century Onslaught, Decline and Rewards. So to farm Korra, you have to choose, of course, between Century Onslaught and Elite Century Onslaught. Now, I'm going to be talking about on which one of these are good so after you get down like after you choose century onslaught or elite century onslaught you're gonna be dropped into this place this pretty cool looking space uh, which is like really cool okay i really love this so let me explain what this game mode is so enter the conduit like that little portal thing and maintain efficiency against increasingly difficult specimens for 2.5 minutes each specimens you kill is each specimen you kill attributes to your overall efficiency with the Eximus specimens uh, attributing more efficiency simultus are spawns per zones that give you 10% uh, efficiency wisely. So after you complete each zone, a 45 second focus boost, uh, like it gives you a focus boost after you kill, after you finish a zone. So the terms are here are pretty easy. So zones are the equivalent of wave round ETC. So data conduits, these are portals to simulated combat and efficiency is what you need to open to keep open a conduit. So after you finish a wave, you have to jump into another portal to get to another map with random enemies. So basically, it's endless exterminate if you don't get what I mean. You just kill enemies to keep the efficiency up for 2.5 minutes and there are like little things that you can pick up through the map and those will also increase your efficiency but as you can see those things are called efficiency simultus and you only find two or three or sometimes one per map so you just have to kill enemies in order to just keep going okay so uh, so let's get to uh the drop chances so there are two zones equals to rotation a four zones equals to rotation a six zones equals to rotation b eight zones equals to rotation c so the rewards are based on these rotations if you want to skip all of this and just get to how to farm Korra efficiently i'll leave a timestamp that you can click on and that will take you directly to that part so this is just explanation and just to make things much more easier for you guys so two zones rotation a four zones rotation a six zones rotation b and eight zones is rotation C. So those are how things drop on this game mode. And I know, I just, I know, okay, these apply both to uh, no, the normal onslaught and the elite century onslaught. So this is for, this is the drop chances for Korra on the normal onslaught. Uh, which is Century Onslaught, which is the normal mode. So on Rotation A, Korra Chassis has an 8.33% drop chance. Then you can see Endo. Then we have a bunch of Lith Relics. You can get. You can also get Relics from this mode. Then as Rotation B, as you can see, the Korra Neuroptics has a 7.69% drop chance. On the Rotation B side, you have a Synthetic Eidolon Shard, you have an Endo, and you have Meso Relics as well, as well as a Grenier scene if you want if you like captura you can also get a grenier scene here as well so the drop chances are equally like divided so then on rotation c which is the final rotation as you can see the Cora systems blueprint has a 5.64 percent drop chance and the Cora's blueprint has also a 5.64 percent drop chance and the other things have a higher drop chance of course it makes sense then this is the elite century uh like 
rewards. As you can see, the Cora chassis over here has a 3.16% drop chance, and the 400 Endo has a much higher drop chance, but you also get Radiant Relics from Elite Century Onslaught. Then the second, which is the Rotation B for Elite Century Onslaught, as you can see, we have Cora Neuroptics, which has a 3.69% drop chance and the other things such as relics have a higher drop chance so i i think you guys can get what i'm saying the elite century onslaught mode is for other things and finally rotation c for elite century onslaught has Cora systems on 3.16 Cora blueprint on 3.16 750 endo on 15.18 and other things are equally each divided to contribute to a total of 100%. So as uh, there is also a mod peculiar bloom. Those are like the new set of mods that actually affect the enemies in a certain ways, the visual mods. So first of all, the you need a good team. So the first team I suggest is an Ember Nova Prime, Trinity Prime and a Saren Prime. Now, let me just explain why this team why or why do you need a good team? I'm going to be suggesting two team setups. So this is my first team setup. So why is this team setup good or why do you need a good team now the thing about the normal onslaught and the elite century onslaught is that elite century onslaught gives you high level enemies from the very beginning okay it gives you like top tier enemies sortie level enemies from the very beginning which is can be a real pain in the ass if you don't have a good thing or you just take or you just take you know you get what i'm saying you just take shit frames okay but what this team made, what this team is gonna do is Nova can fast the enemies so you can kill more enemies to keep up those efficiency up, a fast Nova of course, to keep those enemies coming from every single direction. And uh, Ember, you can use a World on Fire build to crowd control and kill the enemies at the same time. Then we have a Saren. Saren's Spore ability can like crowd control and make you kill the enemies much more faster. It has a wide amount of range that you guys can use to crowd control. Then the second team I really suggest is a Ember Prime, a Trinity Prime, a Rhino Prime or a normal Rhino and a Nova Prime. So what does this team do? Ember Prime is always for damage. A Trinity Prime for both the first and this team is always for energy. You're going to be needing high amount of energy for those high level things so i would really suggest a trinity on each and every team because uh, the enemy if the level gets high it's a pain in the ass so you guys just have to keep going keep pu keep pushing and eventually if you guys do more waves or more rotations that's why the team is important that's why i'm making this video to make things much more easier for you guys so these are the two teams that i really suggest for you guys to do uh on Century Onslaught or Elite Century Onslaught and of course the Rhino's Roar ability will help you out a ton so I guess that's two of the teams that I really suggest for you guys to do I hope you guys understand this video it's quite like a farming video if you, you guys just gotta push through the waves and that's how you farm the Korra part so that's it for the video guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video hit that like button if you enjoyed the video guys if you if you're new to the channel make sure that subscribe button and I hope this video helps you guys to go through more waves quickly and hopefully you guys can farm Korra really efficiently so yeah and I'll catch you guys on the next one peace hope you all have a great day